This is about uncertainty in Major League Football. In particular, how much of football is due to luck and how much is due to skill. We can examine that by looking at what happened last year in the English Premier League. Um, each, as each match is played, we can see how the league totals developed. Now, um, if your team wins, uh, wins the game, they get three points, and if it's a draw, they get one point each. And we can see that um, as the scene has developed, um, each team develops a certain, gets a certain number of points. And uh, if we drop down the distribution now, we can see that we, we can draw a distribution showing the scatter, the distribution of points that each team has got. If we sort those, we can now see who's in the lead. Liverpool is in the lead at that point up here, and some teams have yet to score at all. Now, the point is, is this spread of points that we're getting due to chance, is it, or does it show real difference between the teams? Now, we can do a bit of maths to work out what sort of spread of points we'd expect if the games were just luck. Now, what do we mean by games being just luck? It turns out that around about half of all games are home wins, and about a quarter are away wins, and about a quarter are draws. So if at the beginning of every game they came out and they flipped a coin, and if it was heads, the home team won, and if it was tails, they flipped again, and then if it came up heads, the away team won, and otherwise it was a draw, then that would end up with a half of all matches being home wins, a quarter being draws, and a quarter away wins. Now, it wouldn't make very interesting football, and people might not think it was worth paying a lot of money to watch, but if you did do that, you would end up with a distribution, we can work this out um, using some basic probability theory, that looked like this. This is the sort of distribution that we'd expect the points to have. If we speed this up, we can see then what happened during the season. And in particular, we can monitor this number. This number here, which is now running about 60% or so, is the percent of the variability that we can explain by chance alone. If this number gets very small, it means that the uh, spread of points we're actually observing is a lot bigger than we'd expect by chance alone. And as the season develops, that number gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The spread of the points gets bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, especially with the three you know, high-spending teams going to, the, going to the top, way out from the distribution that we expect by chance alone. There are genuine differences between these teams. We can actually say that in the English Premier League at the moment, about 80% of the variability in points is due to skill, due to genuine differences between the teams, and about 20% is due to luck. Now, those sorts of figures we can see elsewhere in Europe. If, for example, if we go to Greece and looked in last season and looked at their um, main division last season and run through that, and look at the games that developed, how that developed over time. If we run through that fast, as fast as we can, we can see that um, the percent of variance due to chance really starts getting quite low. There's a big spread between the teams, the top Athens teams, the other teams way down, down here. This is going down 20, 30, 20% very early on. These are really different, and it gets down to levels, which are really quite low levels, such as the English Premier League. Now, not all leagues are like that. In some leagues, you see um, uh, substantial variability just due to luck. The teams are very even, um, and sometimes it looks like there's no difference at all between the teams. And a nice example here is in Scotland in, um, in 2002. In 2002, we have to go to, thank you. Um, and we look at uh, Division 2 in Scotland. Yeah. And so let's see what happened there. If we run through that quite fast, we find out that there's no real difference between the teams at all. They're all getting almost exactly the same number of points. The spread of points is even less than we'd expect by chance alone. Um, there's, you know, there's just nothing in it at all. And I've always thought that poor old Cowden Beath, who ended up, just happened to be bottom and be relegated, must be considered one of the unluckiest teams in history because there's no evidence there were any different from any of the other teams.